Tomas here. He's the CEO of AGVS. AGVS is an autonomous vehicle company in Brazil. And uh, one of the most delightful things about that company is that they run their own combat robot box in their warehouse. My name is Luan Oshima. People usually call me Temaki. And my robot is Wasabi. Chris, I'm in love with this robot. It's really, really good, Luke. Oh, there, there goes the wheel. wheel. Breakfast looks dead. Ooh. One, that's the fight. Whoa! Wow. Wow. Oh, here we All go. Right. All right, Temaki, incredible fight. I work as an electronics engineer in AGVS. It's a company that builds autonomous robots for industrial lines. Now, if you've seen that logo before on BattleBots, it's because AGVS partnered this year with Minotaur. Yeah. They helped cut Minotaur's weapon. They helped design the uh, the redesign of the internals of Minotaur. The team also went and, uh, and served as their pit crew as yeah. well, like helped out uh, the Minotaur team. Usually I like to talk with my teammates, see the opponent, start to talk about strategies or should I go with my weapon on, on maximum or should I, I be more less aggressive. We discuss a little bit about the fight. Usually I'm a lot nervous before the fight, but so I try to, to be calm. When we start to get close to the competition, I, I usually spend a lot of time on the company that we work and we start to machine pieces and could say like 24 hours to 48 hours on, on the company working on the robot. In Brazil, we usually was watching NHRL from YouTube. We were looking at the robots and we saw the number of robots that competed here in Norwa. We started thinking, oh, we, we need to compete there. Like, there's so many robots and so many good robots that we want to fight and test our robots to the limit. And the life that was we were seeing was awesome to see. Mainly that made we think, you know, we, one day we, we are going to compete on Norwa. That's what we decided and we started to, to invest to come here. I am so stoked about today. We have international competitors here, our very first team from Brazil, and they're pretty good. I saw some of those bots upstairs last night, and they're incredible. They build them different down in South America. That's I'll true. That. It's the Coriolis effect. Oh, nice. oh good hit. Nasty. That was beautiful hit by Sombra there. Krunk has tapped out. Sombra advances into the winner's bracket. Oh, huge hits and chunks flying. Wasabi kicking links behind the house spots. Incredible. Oh, and the weapon is gone! Oh, and that is a tap out from Wasabi. I'm gonna say that the Brazilians have absolutely captured the imagination of the Norwalk Havoc fans. I am so happy that we're going to be seeing Wasabi later this year at the Norwalk Havoc Finals. There are so many builders here, years and years of preparation, building up to this, bringing the best robots they possibly can. We're gonna see incredible fights. This is, this is gonna be an incredible day. It's ready, Japanese. Uh, the professional setup. <laughs> so, let me win the first one, just to, to make sense for me this trip, huh? <laughs> yeah, I promise. Hey, no gimmies here. <laughs> What is this material? Tegris. Tegris. It's, it's, it's top it's secret special. material. Unobtainium. You can't buy that. Sorry. Let's do it. Next in Cage 4, Sombra versus Big Ish.
He loaded in Dominic Yankaskis and Narcissist facing off against Twin Beast Wagner Prestes. Parece que ele meio que abriu minha torre, cara. Ele acertou. Ele abriu a torre. É. Opa, saiu uma roda dele. Ah. Vai de ponta cabeça, cara. Acabou. Eu acho que ele não tá conseguindo ah. Nem eu. Tenta virar de ponta cabeça. Você vai virar de ponta cabeça? Great fight. Amazing. Good job, good job. It was good. Good job. Oh, man, I never saw Twin Beast like this. <laughs> I am telling you, the Brazilians are incredibly aggressive. Tim is asking for more. But I think that this is very clearly a win for Team AGBS and Wagner Prestes. This is the Brazilians' fight. Two minutes left here. Can Tomas with Team AGBS score a knockout? The winner here by judges' decision is Tomas and Sombra. What of work to do here? I need to rebuild my bot now. You make a couple fixes. He's still in the game. Tamaki with these short, brutal, controlled hits. And it looks like uh, there's just no wheel at all on the left-hand side of Sepiel. It is a unanimous judges' decision for Wasabi. And the winner is... of this fight is going to go on to fight Eruption or Silent Spring, while the loser is eliminated. That is a white it does look like the undercutter did do some damage to the bottom oh. side of Tamaki. He's not able to get his bot moving. That was a piece of wheel, a chunk of wheel that just flew off of what looks like Wasabi. Tomaz from Team AGVS, he's the captain of the team. So happy they were able to make it for this tournament. So happy that so many of the, of the bots on his team qualify. Really an impressive journey. They've come this far. And Psycho taking a unanimous judge's decision. Yeah. The main difference that I see in the US and Brazil is that we focus on different parts of the robots. In Brazil, I see that we want to get the weapon with the most moment of inertia as possible that we can. But here in the US, I see that people mainly want to prioritize the tip speed of their weapons. In Brazil, we want to get a lot of destruction as quickly as possible. And here in the US, we see that people want to get more durable robots with more high speed weapons. In Brazil, we see that almost all the robots are vertical spinners. We don't see a lot of variety of robots. Here in the US, you see that people get really different designs from each other. That's things that I see that are really different in Brazil and the US. Yeah, very similar cultures, very different designs and robots, though. That was so impressive. I love Wasabi. 
Yeah, it's awesome. Big fan of that bot. It really stings the nostrils. It's really cool to see that there are lots of people here that are interested in the same thing. They're not here just to, oh, I'm gonna fight with my robot. I'm gonna here to learn. I'm gonna come here to make friends, to have a good time. In HRL, for me, it's not only a robot combat event, but it's an experience to share with other people here.